I'm Rob Cardwell. Here are some of the day's top stories. The family of Ivo Otieno and their lawyers are set to speak out this morning. In March of 2023, Otieno died while in custody at Central State Hospital, having been taken there from Henrico County Jail while suffering a mental health crisis. On Friday, five of the defendants in the trial had their charges set aside for now by Dinwiddie's Commonwealth's attorney. The null pros isn't the same as a full dismissal, and the CA could bring back the charges at a later date. Several key items will be looked at during tonight's Richmond Public Schools meeting. Key among them will be addressing measures RPS has taken to help address safety and safety concerns in and around the school system. They'll also be taking an in-depth look at the results of mold reports from several city schools, and they'll be showing a new timeline for the new Fox Elementary School with significant progress expected over the next six months. And now here's Tom. All right, thanks a lot, Rob. We're looking at 81 degrees today. It's going to be a rather humid day. There'll be a few showers and storms this afternoon and evening, and tonight will drop to about uh, 50 or 65 degrees, excuse me, with a chance for a few lingering showers and storms into the evening hours, and then partly to mostly cloudy overnight tonight. So the hour by hour forecast will track a couple showers as we go into the afternoon and then getting a little more numerous late into the afternoon through early evening. And at this point, we can probably catch a few thunderstorms as well. And if there's a lot of humidity, that means some of these can be some quick downpours too. So just something as we go into this time of year to keep alert on. And then those chances for showers kind of linger through the evening before dying out overnight tonight. It's going to get warm for the next couple of days, low 80s, mid 80s, and then low 90s on Wednesday. And then each day there'll be at least a chance for some scattered showers and storms into the afternoon or evening hours right through about Friday and potentially even Saturday. Now that front on Friday, it's going to drop temperatures back to the lower 70s for the upcoming weekend and then overnight lows will return back to the 50s. That's your forecast from CBS 6, the Weather Authority. Have a great day.